uh, whatever information i'm giving you is you know is what helped me to be successful in life and i'm sure that if reach, if this video reaches to the right person then uh, that person will uh, you know have some information on how to get a remote job in the first place hello everyone welcome to learn with tasha happy new year to everyone and today i'm going to talk about the most talked about topic in the industry which is that are remote jobs actually over do we even get a remote job right now so today i'm going to talk about how to get a remote job in 2024 um specifically in the field of data science and analytics simply because i am currently doing a remote uh, job as a data analyst and i strongly feel that it's possible for you as well uh, i'll broadly be talking about Uh, what are remote jobs? What are the things that you need to know about them? What platforms should you use while you are applying for a remote job? And most importantly, what are the upsides and the downsides of a remote job? So, without wasting any further time, let's get started. So, the very first thing that you should have on your mind is what all can you expect from a remote job, right? What are the different markets that offer remote jobs to all the folks, especially folks residing in India? uh what all you can expect from each market in terms of three very important things one is the demographic because it's highly uh, you know dependent on the culture and the timings that you would be working in second is the money of course what is the salary that you can expect and the third which is again the most important factor is the number of job opportunities you can expect from each market So as you can see on my left hand side these are the four most important markets that offer remote jobs as of today the number one market which tops the list is americas um us and americas offer a lot of remote jobs in this field um when it comes to the uh, money um i believe the kind of money that this market offers is high in comparison to all the other markets uh and the number of opportunities are also the maximum although the uh, kind of clients that you will be conversing with will be residing in the america so you can expect uh, you know somewhere between evening to night shifts when you will be working with these markets the next which comes in the picture is uh, europe so there are a lot of companies in paris uh, uk etc which offer a lot of remote jobs in the field of data science and analytics but they are tad bit lesser as compared to us so the number of opportunities fall in the second place um the kind of money is good for folks residing in india but it's you can say that it's a bit lesser as compared to the uh, money offered by the companies residing in americas but i again strongly feel that it highly depends on your negotiating skills right uh, your negotiating skills the way you communicate and the kind of experience that you already hold in this field talking about the culture uh, for uh, the europe market the culture would be uh, much more friendlier because you'll be working for uh, afternoon to evening shifts depending upon the time zone the third is uh, asia which comprises of um, countries like singapore and even india who have a lot of startups as well as mid sized companies who offer remote jobs uh, a lot of countries like singapore and india offer remote jobs in this very field there are a lot of companies which are remote first companies uh, but the number of opportunities will fall third in the place they are a bit lesser as compared to the opportunities uh, in the us and uh, europe um also the money uh, will be a little bit lesser because we are talking about uh, companies in india as well right and the fourth market is australia i think that if you are able to get a job in this field in any company belonging to australia you are the lucky one because uh, the culture will be really great the timings would be very friendly for folks residing in india uh, the pay uh, surprisingly is as equal as the pay offered by uh, companies in the americas so the pay is going to be really good and uh, the downside of this market is which i mentioned in my very first sentence it has very less number of job opportunities so even before jumping onto the platforms what i personally do is i make a list of all the companies and that is the very reason i spoke to you about the markets and the opportunities uh belonging to each market right you should be having a list of the companies uh you know uh, which are a right fit for you and which also match your education background the kind of experience you hold and the kind of domain that you are interested in working with 
right? Uh, remote jobs are much, much lesser than all the hybrid and on-site jobs that you see on different portals. So making a list of the companies will, you know, make you more informative about the market and you'll be having a very clear idea on which companies actually offer remote job as of today. Number one is definitely LinkedIn, guys. LinkedIn provides a vast number of opportunities because all the companies are also making sure that they post each and every job opportunity on LinkedIn since it's the most used platform. Number two, you have very less or minimal number of illegitimate companies or companies which, uh, you know, I wouldn't really uh, recommend you applying for. Second is the company website. Um, I know it tends to get a little more frustrating while you're applying for jobs by uh, going to each and every company's website. But I strongly feel that company applying in company website, you know, can work wonders for you. It has worked wonders for me. There have been times uh, where I have applied in a company website and I have, uh, you know, I've received a reply from the HR within two days. Third is a uh, well-found, formerly known as Angel List, um, simply because this particular website uh, consists of only funded startups. You do not have to do a background check on each and every startup that you see on this particular website. The next is that I have received a lot of replies on this portal with different assignments and you know interview procedure. So I feel that it's fairly legitimate and you know a good portal for you to apply on. The fourth on the list is Ooplers. I have a lot of college friends working for Ooplers, so I can guarantee you that this is a legitimate source. It's basically a third-party agency which posts various job opportunities coming from markets like UK, US, and Australia. Um, the you know the advantage of this platform is that if you see any job opportunity on Ooplers or any job opportunity uh, on LinkedIn uh, posted by Ooplers, uh, you can see that it's signifies or it, you know, clearly mentions the timings that you can expect from that job and the kind of pay that you can expect. So I think that this is, uh, you know, very much needed for folks who are aggressively applying. Uh, you know, you get an idea of what all you can expect and what are the, uh, what are the timings that you would be working at. So, you know, uh, without wasting any further time, uh, make a profile on Ooplers and make sure that you keep an eye on all the job opportunities that this particular um, website or portal will. Now, I'm going to talk about uh, a very important step in your uh, entire process of applying for a remote job, which, uh, you know, is, which makes you stand out in comparison to the other candidates who are in this very fight, um, which is cold emailing and cold messaging, right? Um, when I say cold emailing and cold messaging, uh, the idea of this thing uh, seems to be very frustrating for a lot of people but you should have a clear idea on whom do you want to reach out to, right? Uh, there are a lot of people who uh, strongly feel that they should be reaching out to the HRs. But uh, guys, let me tell you the reality that HRs always have their inboxes flooded. Uh, the opportunity or the possibility of an HR noticing your message is much, much lesser as compared to you reaching out to the hiring manager or any data scientist or any data analyst working actively in that company, right? Um, a data analyst, a data scientist, or a hiring manager in that company will be having their inboxes much, much lesser flooded as compared to the HR, right? So this is where your possibility increases. Whatever I'm telling you right now is something which has been done by me, right? I have made a lot of mistakes in this entire process for my career journey. And the things that I learn is something which I directly share with you. So make sure that you decide whom do you want to you know, a cold email to a cold message to on LinkedIn. And uh, things that I say again and again in every video, make sure that your message is precise. Don't just say a hi and wait for the other person to respond. Uh, keep your message precise. Say why do you want to work with the company and what makes you set apart from the other candidates in a very crisp manner in 25 to 50 words. And make sure that you include your resume, your cover letter, and your portfolio in that very message, right? The last thing which I mentioned in the beginning of the video are the upsides and the downsides of a remote job. The upsides are definitely you get to work uh, from anywhere, right, uh, at your own comfort zone. Um, you know, so you do have a certain uh, work-life balance, uh, which solely depends on you as well. 
the downsides which i really want to highlight in this video is patience uh, guys uh, for me right when i was applying for a remote job uh, and this will happen with you too because there will be a time where you will be very much content with your interviews and you will be cracking jobs out there and uh, a situation will arise where you will have more and more hybrid and on site jobs coming to you even before uh, you know you cracking any remote job so this is where uh, it depends from person to person on how badly you want a remote job uh, i have turned down offers from companies like uber who were offering me uh, you know a full time data analyst role uh, but the only uh, you know downside of those companies were that the role type was on site um, which required me to move to a city so you know i took some time uh, and it entirely depends on your bandwidth as well if you have the time to wait for the right opportunity if you have the patience to you know turn down the uh, on site or hybrid offer just because you're looking for that right remote opportunity so this is it guys what i require from you is to make sure that this video reaches to every right person who genuinely requires this information so make sure that you like uh comment and subscribe to my channel uh, be ready to see more and more videos and apply smart all the best and take care guys thank you so much